Only a monster would do such a thing. The Boltons will pay for this. After all we've been through, must the gods continue to shit on this house? What have we ever done to them? Follow the Starks? Obey the rule of law? The White Hills started this. Ramsay Snow may have held the knife, but they're the ones who sharpened it. Fuck the White Hills, and fuck Ramsay too! The sooner we're rid of them all, the better for everyone! The Glenmore Guard are gone. Ordered home by Ramsay. So much for having allies. Ramsay says he's not taking sides anymore. He means to let the strongest house survive. I intend that to be yours, Royland. You'll get no argument from me. But how do we bloody fight them? We just don't have the numbers. Not yet, anyway. And they still have Ryan. We'll worry about that after we get Ryan back. Once we've made the trade, then we can start to Where is he? Where is my brother? My lady. My lady. Let me through! Elena. Roderick, tell me where he... Oh! No. No. Oh, no. No! Arthur, oh, no! Arthur! It's my fault. I brought him into this. I asked him to help. He did this for me. You can't blame yourself, Lena. He was a grown man. He made his own choices. But he trusted me. He always has. I was there the day he learned to hold a bow. <laughs> he was so nervous, the father called him Quiver. <laughs> and now to die, like this, tortured, mutilated. Ramsay Snow did this, he's a madman. Ramsay was here because of you, Roderick. If we hadn't been your allies. Elena. I'm sorry. Oh God. Let's get you someplace warm. How do I do this, Roderick? How do I keep going? Where do I find the strength? You can't help the dead. So care for the living. For me, that's Ryan, Talia, Mira, and you. Roderick. You've been such a friend to me, Roderick. Right from the very beginning. I should try to get some sleep. I'm not sure I'll be able to. But I don't know what else to do. You're not alone, Elena. I'm here for you, whatever you need. Thank you, Roger. you are. I haven't seen you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? 
Why in the world would you... Never mind. Mira, I'll be honest. I took an enormous risk, defying Marjorie to get you into that feast. And you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros in front of everybody. Marjorie saw, of course, and she knew exactly how you got there. Andros was the one doing the yelling. You can't blame me for his poor manners. I'm sure you gave him good reason. Just as you do everyone, Marjorie included. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. What? Mira, you're not the girl I knew at Highgarden. She'd never be so reckless. And now, with Garibald refusing to talk to me, I just can't risk being associated with you. Not anymore. Marjorie is my only protection without him. I can't afford to fall from her good graces. If you abandon me, who'll be there when you need someone? I don't know. Marjorie, I suppose. I'm sorry, Mira. I truly am. Was it worth it, at least? Sacrificing so much for your family. They're still in very grave danger, I'm afraid. Well, I know you'll do everything in your power to protect them. Better go before she sees me. She already. Mira Forrester. Can I help you? You need to come with me. Now. Why would I? Don't make this difficult. You still angry at me? What do you think? I think I deserve a little gratitude. He's dead. I shouldn't care how it happened. It doesn't feel like I expected. I thought I'd feel lighter. Or something. Is that your way of saying thank you? It's the best you're going to get. Oh, we should never have come here. This city. It only holds pain for me, Asha. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. I can't imagine what it must have been like. Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Asher, you're back. <laughs> Uncle. Let's collect our second sons and get out of here. If you did as you were told, Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? Your Grace, my nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Maureen, Asha Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. Well, my time is short. You have your city, Your Grace. I'm here to talk about our reward. You best be more careful with your words. I don't have patience for arrogant sellswords. I heard rumors of an incident in the city. Do you know anything about it? Your Grace, we encountered the slave master, Dizorzo Raza, on the way to the signal tower. I regret that he lost his life. Oh, don't fucking... You admit it, then? The punishment for defying a queen is death. And yet you come to me for a reward. Why should I let this pass? Don't you dare. What do you have to say for yourself? Don't. I'm waiting. Because Beska was Dizor's slave. For years. Damn you, Asher. 
She deserved her revenge as much as any slave in Marine. You have my sympathies. Keep your pity, Dragon Queen. Give us soldiers and we'll be gone. I apologize for her, Your Grace. It's all right, Malcolm. I do not hold it against her or you. You have proved yourselves in battle. And while you disobeyed my orders, you had good reason. Unfortunately, I cannot spare my second sons. What? But Your Grace, the mission was a success. I need every soldier to hold Marie. What did I tell you? She was never going to help us. You promised me Croft and his second sons. Which is why I'm not going to let you leave here empty-handed. I cannot give you my cell swords, but I will give you the next best thing. This gold will be of use. Perhaps you can find the swords you need in Marine. What sort of soldiers can I hope to hire with this? Your gratitude is astounding. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their collars. There are fighters among those who used to be bound. On behalf of the Foresters and the Branfields, I thank you. See that you are ready when I return to Westeros. I have other plans for you, Malcolm. Plans for me, Your Grace? I have plans for my uncle as well. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen alliance you've helped forge. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so. But let me know your answer soon. You'd seriously consider staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. If she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. You've made a good start with her. I could strengthen that bond. It's worth thinking about, you have to admit. You're right, Uncle. The Mother of Dragons would make a powerful ally. If she succeeds in taking the Iron Throne, she'll be the only ally we need. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. The Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. Don't even think about it. You just couldn't keep your fucking mouth shut, could you? Had to tell her everything. You sold me out for a chest of gold. They're just words, Veska. They can't make you bleed. It was my secret to share. You don't know shit. I know you're the toughest person I've ever fought alongside. Your past can't hurt you anymore. Move on. We still have soldiers to find. <sighs> the little queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers, and I know the worst. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asha. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills, then. As long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. I must talk further with the Queen. Don't get yourselves killed. So, where exactly are we going? Now, well, these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess, I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. <laughs> 